Hello class, uh, I wanted to uh, draw a couple of these structures that we had in assignment 17. Uh, you need to master ChemDraw uh, in order to do well on the final exam. And I just want to show you some quick ways to draw uh, some structures here for, um, for, for a couple of problems in assignment 17, but these will translate also into um, other assignments that you've done and, and that you will be doing. So first of all, let's look at this uh, cis-5 uh, decanoic acid. Um, so you click on draw structure and uh, so the first thing you have to decide about this acid is is it a saturated fatty acid or is it an unsaturated fatty acid? Alright, so which one is it? saturated or unsaturated? Well the key is is this cis-5. Uh, cis remember is where we have a double bond and cis means on the same side so uh, the, the alkyl groups are going to be on the same side of the double bond so knowing that there's a double bond in this fatty acid you immediately know that this is a unsaturated fatty acid. All right, so we click on draw the structure. So we're going to start with um, the double bond. So that's the key to this problem is to start with the double bond. All right, now let me just show you a quick way to start this. You know there's going to be a carbon on this end of the molecule. So when the box is highlighted with a blue, just click C on your keyboard and that'll put a carbon in. Do the same thing on the other side. Hit C and that'll put a carbon in. All right, now. Uh, at this point I would click the single bond here and again highlight the carbon in blue and let's draw a structure up like this highlight the carbon in blue and let's draw the structure down like so do the same thing on this side of the carbon alright and so what you're doing here is that the key to this problem is that you've got that double bond uh, in the correct place so I'd highlight a blue box here and hit H and that will put a hydrogen here do the same thing hit H on the keyboard that'll put a hydrogen here so the next thing we need to do is to get what should be in these two blue boxes and um, again we know it should be on the same side so let's uh, this is the easiest part here so let's click on it all right, and so I uh, made a mistake here because I've still got the bond. So let's just erase. Let's undo that. All right, so you can do that. Let's click A, the text box, and let's put a highlight that and go like so. All right. So what's attached to this carbon here? Well, you know it's going to be uh, a parenthesis. It's going to be a carbon hydrogen, and then we know that. Uh, this carbon is going to be attached to other carbons, so we would put in a uh, 2 here, a subscript 2. So click on this, click over here, and click uh, 2. And so you see the subscript there. Now what I usually do here is I hit an arrow key on my um, keyboard, and that takes me out of that subscript, and that allows me to put the next parenthesis in, and it's not subscripted. All right. So then you got to say, well, how many of these um, uh, methyl groups do I need? So you go, well, this is carbon number five because the double bond always starts at the lower carbon. So this is carbon number five. This is carbon number six. And then we need seven and eight and then uh, nine. And so again, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm going to put, uh, again, click the subscript click this and put a 3 here. Alright, hit the arrow key to get outside of that, uh, outside of the subscript. And then I'm going to put, we know it's um, carboxylic acid, so I'm going to say a C, oops, uh, capital C, O, O, H. Alright, so let's just make sure this is right. This would be carbon 5, this would be carbon 6, then we have 7, 8, nine and then there's ten so there's my that part of it alright so let's click on the text box again let's click over here now what's actually attached to that carbon is it the CH3 the ending the methyl group or is it a CH2 well it's a CH2 so over here you're going to say parenthesis 
and then you're going to say uh, C capital C H uh, and then uh, we need a subscript of two here again so we'll click that and we'll click a two here close that print okay hit the arrow key close the parenthesis and so how many of these do we need well we need this is the carbon five so we need three of those here so let's do that Make sure we're outside the print C and hit it three. All right. Then hit the arrow key and then C H and then uh, subscript three because it's a methyl group on the end, right? Like so. All right. So let's click on that and see what that looks like. All right. So let's make sure our structure looks right here. So let's take that box out first of all. So, okay. Carbon number one is here. Carbon two, three, and four are here. This is carbon number five. This is carbon number six. Then we have uh, six, uh, I mean, seven, eight, nine, and then that's carbon 10. All right? So it's on the same side. So that's cis. The double bond occurs at carbon number five. So that's correct. So this looks like the correct structure here. So what you would do at this point is you must hit save and exit. All right. That's going to save your structure in the box. You must hit save and exit. All right. Uh, if you're doing a little bit each day, I guess you could hit save, but uh, save and exit is what we need. We'll check the work here. And we got uh, the correct structure. So what may be a little bit into uh, not so intuitive is that when we created this part here or this part you got to put down first in the box what this carbon's attached to because that's what it's going to attach so you don't put the CH3 first you put the CH2 and it is in reverse order uh, at this way and then this way it looks in the correct order so this is what you put first this is what you put first to make this structure correct all right All right, let's go back. I wanted to do another one here. I think this was throwing some people too. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah. All right. So we're looking at steric acid here. And, um, you know, this is a long um, chain fatty acid. And so the first thing you need to do when you're doing steric acid is you need to find out uh, how many carbons long is steric acid. All right. So... If you had your book open when you were doing these problems, uh, they have a table of um, fatty acids on page 585. So you look on there and you go, well, okay, steric acid, uh, that's a common acid used, and it's octadecanoic acid. So what does octadecanoic mean? Well, octadecanoic means uh, 18 carbons long. All right, so I think people are probably drawing this incorrectly, and that, or they're, and it may be running out of time if you're on it so long. But let me show you how to do this problem real quickly. All right, so you know it's 18 carbons long, so that's what this is for here. Click on this. Uh, remember, this is each one of these uh, points represent a carbon, so you can go like this. And I'd probably just start up here. And you can see at the end there, it tells you how many carbons you have. So we want 18 carbons. All right. So 18 carbons long. Bam. There it is. All right. Uh, over here, we want to highlight this last carbon. And we just want to put a, a capital C-O-O-H carboxylic group. All right. And... Uh, that's pretty much it, right? So we can just, there's my structure cleaned up. It's 18 carbons long. It's got a carboxylic acid group or carboxyl group on the end. So uh, this would be steric acid. So if we hit save and exit here, uh, this is what our structure looks like. And we can check our work. And that's correct too. So that's how fast it can be done. So uh, if you're just doing a long chain carboxylic acid, 
uh, definitely use that other function here. Again, uh, this function, quickest way to do long chain uh, hydrocarbons. All right. So, and then again, on this kind of structure, if you wanted to put a uh, a chlorine on this carbon so you could count that out this would be what's kind of neat about this is once you get going this is two four this would be the six carbon and then you could put a chlorine on it. you would just uh, you could do a single bond off of it and then a chlorine whichever way you want to do it there all right so I hope this helps um, if you're having problems if you'll email me ahead of time like I know we're kind of moving through these last chapters fast there's not as much new material really uh, these biochemistry chapters, I mean, we've talked about carboxylic acids and fatty acids already, and now we're just looking at applications uh, in biology. So we've seen how to draw these structures, but I don't know, maybe you didn't do it this way. Uh, but um, just work ahead so that, like, if you have a problem, you can email me, and I'll be glad to make you a video. Uh, I don't want this chem draw to be what's determining your grade. Uh, I, want to, I want you to be able to draw the structures correctly and then maybe you don't draw it correctly and you get it incorrect. But I, I don't want chem draw to be the problem. But you do have to practice and you do have to look at some of the uh, tricks. And you can Google these or you can, um, uh, there are some of those videos towards the end on the Connect training videos, they show you how to do these type of structures, especially the ring structures. All right, I hope that helps. And uh, again, this is the way I can communicate with you. This is the way I can show you um, how to do the problems. But, um, and I'm not going to do every problem for you that's out of the assignment, but I will show a few examples. Um, and hopefully this helps everyone. All right, thank you.